the reason that I don't accept Jesus as the Messiah is because I think that a lot of the arguments in fi- so Jesus as the Messiah is a different figure than anything that exists inside Judaism. So when people say that the, the Judaism predicts the the coming of Christ, uh, the the change in the nature of what Christ is, what a Messiah would be, is different from Judaism to Christianity. So Judaism never posited that there would be God come to form in physical form, come to earth in physical form, and okay. then you know acting out in the world in in that way. Judaism posits that God is beyond space and time. Occasionally, he intervenes in history, but he doesn't take physical form. It's one of the key beliefs of Judaism, actually, is an right. incorporeal God. Uh, so that means that it's it's a the the idea is is actually foreign to Judaism of of a merged God man uh, who then is who is God in physical form, but then dies and is resurrected and all this. This is it's a, it's just a different idea than exists in Judaism. So you're not waiting for the Messiah to come, right? He's not coming in the. In so the, in the I'm waiting. Form. I'm waiting for the Messiah to come in the form of a political figure, right? So the so the, the Messiah in in Judaism is a guy who's going to come back and is going to establish peace in Israel and is going to assure that that. You know, there's a, there's sort of a happier world with a bunch of political aspects to it, as as explained by Maimonides. But he's going to die too, right? He's not going to come back and everybody lives forever and, and any so of that kind of stuff. He's a corporeal agent. He's just like us, right? But, like, but, and the, the, in the Jewish view, any person could be the Messiah. Any Jew can be the Messiah in the Jewish view, right? Right. So I could be it. Who knows? But, it's not, <laughs> but I'm not. But well, you're it, off but to a good start. But, but, <laughs> but, but that's that's a different yeah. view uh, than than the Christian view. So the argument typically made to Jews by Christians on this is that Jews are it, it's forecast by the Bible. Right, um, and right. that's and for Jews, we we have a whole different read when you read the Hebrew about why this may or may not be true. did the scriptures preach before time of this lion, and lion's whelp. And in like manner also we find it written regarding Antichrist. For Moses speaks thus in Deuteronomy. Dan is a lion's whelp, and he shall leap from Bashan. But that no one may err, by supposing that this is said of the Saviour. Let him attend carefully to the matter. Dan, he says, is a lion's whelp. And in naming the tribe of Dan, he declared clearly the tribe from which Antichrist is destined to spring. For as Christ springs from the tribe of Judah, so Antichrist is to spring from the tribe of Dan. And that the case stands thus, we see also from the words of Jacob. Let Dan be a serpent, lying upon the ground, biting the horse's heel. What then, is meant by the serpent, but Antichrist? the deceiver who is mentioned in Genesis, who deceived Eve, and supplanted Adam. That it is in reality out of the tribe of Dan, then, that the tyrant and king, that dread judge, that son of the devil, is destined to spring and arise. The prophet testifies when he says, 
Dan shall judge his people, as he is also one tribe in Israel. But someone may say that, this refers to Samson, who sprang from the tribe of Dan, and judged the people twenty years. Well, the prophecy had its partial fulfillment in Samson, but its complete fulfillment is reserved for Antichrist. For Jeremiah also speaks to this effect. From Dan we are to hear the sound of the swiftness of his horses. The whole land trembled at the sound of the neighing, of the driving of his horses. And another prophet says. He shall gather together all his strength, from the east even to the west. They whom he calls, and they whom he calls not, shall go with him. He shall make the sea white with the sails of his ships, and the plain black with the shields of his armaments. And whosoever shall oppose him in war, shall fall by the sword. That these things, then, are said of no one else but that tyrant, and shameless one, and adversary of God. Now, as our Lord Jesus Christ, who is also God, was prophesied of under the figure of a lion, on account of his royalty and glory. In the same way have the scriptures also aforetime spoken of Antichrist as a lion, on account of his tyranny and violence. For the deceiver seeks to liken himself in all things to the Son of God. Christ is a lion, so Antichrist is also a lion, Christ is a king, so Antichrist is also a king. The Saviour was manifested as a lamb. So he too, in like manner, will appear as a lamb, though within he is a wolf. The Saviour came into the world in the circumcision, and he will come in the same manner. The Lord sent apostles among all the nations, and he in like manner will send false apostles. The Saviour gathered together the sheep that were scattered abroad and he in like manner will bring together a people that is scattered abroad. The Lord gave a seal to those who believed on him. And he will give one in like manner. The Saviour appeared in the form of man, and he too will come in the form of a man. The Saviour raised up and showed his holy flesh like a temple. And he will raise a temple of stone in Jerusalem, 